leadership and your service to our country. I yield back. Thank you. The gentlewoman from New York, Mrs. Maloney, who is also the chair for the Subcommittee on Investor Protection, Entrepreneurship, and Capital Markets, is recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Madam Chair. Mr. Secretary, the D in HUD does not stand for deportation. I'm afraid that a recent proposal of yours will bring nothing but despair to thousands of American families by throwing children out of their homes. Simply put, we cannot create affordable housing for Americans by throwing other Americans out into the street with no place to go. I, I am very proud to represent uh, Queensbridge Houses, which is the largest public housing complex uh, in the entire country, along with many other public housing pro complexes. So I've been working with public housing tenants since 1981, standing up for tenants' rights, fighting against spending cuts, and exposing and ending corrupt mob contracts. But your plan to create vacancies by making 55,000 American children homeless is among the most damaging proposals I have ever seen in public policy. And quite frankly, I find it despicable. You know that the current laws already prohibit federal housing programs from subsidizing undocumented immigrants. Individuals who are not eligible for housing assistance do not receive subsidies. By evicting mixed-status households, you will rip apart families and be throwing children onto the street. And where will the 55,000 children go? Where will they live? What agency will care for their health and education? Is your plan to have ICE put 55,000 more children on cages on the border? Um, Really, I, I, not in my district and, and, and not in my, my watch. This is a horrible plan. New York City now spends more than $600 million per year to support 8,200 children in foster care and $4.5 billion more every year to tackle homelessness. Have you considered how you would support the newly homeless families and children, will they be going to foster care? What's your plan? Uh, well, first of all, uh, thank you uh, for the work that you've done on behalf of the people, and I appreciated our visit in New York. Thank you. Um, you know, as far as uh, what we're doing with housing, uh, the law uh, that has been uh, provided through Congress uh, states very specifically that the Secretary of HUD may not provide housing assistance to people who are here illegally. It also states specifically that the Secretary has the duty to end assistance if he finds uh, that someone is violating that. So uh, we are following the law. I would also point out to you but that but, but may I respond? Uh, by, by law, we already, I agree with you, you don't uh, provide subsidies to people who are here illegally, but these children were born here in America, and even if their families are illegal, it's a mixed uh, family in terms of legality, the children are legal. So you could have a situation where the parents are deported and the children, they leave the children here, American citizens, and who is gonna take care of these children? Do you have a plan to take care of these 55,000 children, which is HUD's number uh, that came, came forward with, that they project could be uh, uh, hurt by this plan. Do you have a plan for how to take care of these children, yes or no? Uh, a couple of things here. First of all, there are hundreds of thousands of children, as well as elderly and disabled people on the waiting list who are legal American citizens. But Mr. Secretary, these children are legal American citizens. They were born in America. They are legal citizens. As, as I was saying, there are hundreds of thousands, if not millions, who are waiting on the list. Do you suggest that we prioritize 
people who You're are You're gonna pick one situation. American citizen over another. It, Again, and these if, children are, are American citizens. They are legal. And if, what is your plan to take care of them? Uh, if you if read you, the rule carefully, you will see that it provides a six month deferral uh, on request if they have not uh, found another place to live. And that can be renewed two times for a total of 18 months, which is plenty of time uh, for Congress to engage in comprehensive immigration reform so that this becomes a moot point, as does the DACA situation and a hundred other things. What? How, how in the world can you put forward a plan that could the gentle lead ladies time has children homeless? The gentlewoman from Missouri, Ms. Wagner, is recognized for five minutes. I thank the chairwoman. I thank Secretary Carson for his uh, testimony today and for his uh, service. Would you like a minute, sir, any more time to respond?